Hi, Tim Ogden here. In this video, I'm going to install and set up Sublime Text on Windows 11 uh, just for basic website editing, mostly to edit HTML and CSS files. I'm going to install a few packages that make it a little bit nicer um, and show you how to do that. So let's get started. Let's first open up a browser here and search for Sublime Text. And we'll come to this website, uh, sublimetext.com. So I'm going to click on that. And we have the option here, right, to download for Windows. So click on that. That's going to go ahead and download this file here. Okay, I can either open the file from here, or if I navigate to my downloads folder, go here and right click and open the file. After it makes uh, prompts me to make changes to my device, uh, this setup wizard is going to pop up. I'm going to click next, next, just keep the defaults and install and click finish. Okay. Um, I can now get rid of the executable here. Just delete that out and close out that and close out my browser. And now I go to the search bar here and search for sublime text. Just start to type SU and Sublime Text to come up. I'll click Open. And I'm going to right click and pin it to the taskbar here. And the first thing we'll do is a couple things with preferences. So you can go here, but I like to use Control Shift P. Start to type in preferences, and you'll see this preferences colon settings. So we'll click on that. These are the defaults here, and here are the specific to the user. So I'm going to change the font face here to actually Cascadia code, which comes with Windows now, just because I like that. So if I hit Control S, you can see the font changes a bit there. Um, I'll also do some padding. So file padding top. We'll do two. I'll do Control Shift D to duplicate that down here, and then do bottom here two as well. If I do Control S, uh, did I type that wrong? Let's see, maybe I did because that didn't do anything. So I can go over here and search for padding, and ah, it's line padding. I don't know why I said file. Okay, so let me just change this to line padding top and line padding bottom. Okay, so now it expands it out a bit. Um, you can see the defaults here are zero. Another one I like is highlight underscore line. Let's set that to true. And now you can see it highlights the line. And if you want the tab size to be a bit small, maybe you're working on a website that uses Bootstrap and you want the tab size to go to four from, from four to two, so you can nest a lot of things, uh, and you can change the tab size to two. I don't do a lot here in the settings. Um, I'm going to close that out now. And I'm going to do Control-Shift-P, and I'm going to start to type in pack. And you'll see a view package file, and right under that I have install package control. I'm going to highlight install package control and hit enter. And you'll see it goes ahead and installs that. And now I can start to install packages. First one I like with HTML files is Emmet. Uh, Sublime Text by default has a lot of HTML snippets, but Emmet is snippets kind of supercharged. So I'm going to do Control Shift P, type in package control, then install package, type in Emmet, and let that go ahead and install. Now when it uh, goes ahead and installs, it um, Ask you if you want to enable telemetry to help the developer. I'm just going to click cancel because I don't want to do that right now, but uh, you could say yes if you want. I'm going to go here, select HTML, and now I can show you if I do an exclamation point, hit tab. Uh, then I've got a framework that is created here. I can type in my title, hit tab, do maybe a container inside of that, a row. Notice how I'm using these abbreviations. Maybe I want an unordered list with four list items um, and then some links inside of those so i can go ahead and do that 
of Emmett and expand this stuff out very quickly. Okay, so that's Emmett. Uh, next one I like to install, go to package control, install package. I'm going to do bracket. And if I go down here, I've got bracket highlighter. It's going to go ahead and install. And I'll close that out. And now you see nothing's happening here. So um, actually probably should close out and restart Sublime Text. And sometimes you'll have to do this more than once. I might in the course of this video. So I closed it out. Let's open it. I still don't see anything. Um, and here we're getting a message from Package Control that we've installed some dependencies. Okay, so let's try and restart again. Still nothing. So that might take a moment. Uh, and there we go. Okay, so now uh, Sublime Text needs to be reinstalled for installed or updated libraries to take effect. Otherwise, some package may not work properly. So I'm going to click OK. Restart again. Okay, and now I'm seeing the bracket highlighter showing up. So you notice if I go to the div with the class of container here, you have the opening tag here, the closing tag here. Both are highlighted a little bit, they're underlined. If I go to the body, you see the opening and closing tag are underlined. If I go to the bottom of the head, you see the opening and closing tag are underlined. It's a pretty cool uh, little plug in there. Okay, next one. So Control Shift P, and we'll type in package, uh, package control install package. What I like is a file icon. So a file icon. Let's install that. And that's taking a moment. Let's go ahead and install. So let's now close out Sublime Text, and let's. Uh, create a new folder and we'll say we'll call this web dash stuff call it whatever you want go reopen sublime text i'm just gonna close this out uh i'm not gonna save that file i'm gonna go to file open folder go to my desktop here click on web stuff and select the folder see web stuff opens now if i create a new file Let's save this in that folder as index.html. You see we have a little icon there. That's pretty nice. Okay, next one, which I like, is uh, package. So we're going to go to package control, install package, type in HTML beautify, and we'll install HTML beautify. beautify. And so let's create some HTML here. And... Let's just really mess up the formatting to make it look horrible. And go here. And let's just go there. And yeah, so this is a, a poorly formatted file here. Now if I could do Control Shift P, I can start to type HTML and I could do HTML beautify that way or it gives me the keyboard shortcut, which is Control Alt Shift plus F. So if I do Control uh, Shift Alt F like that, it beautifies the document. So now it's looking all nice again um, with that shortcut. So that's a cool one. Okay, um, the last one I wanna talk about is the sidebar. So let's do package control, uh, install package, I'm going to type sidebar, and if I got sidebar enhancements is the package. Let's go ahead and install that. And now, you'll notice before I only had six options. Now I have a bunch of new options. So I can do new file, type in the file name here. Maybe it's style.css or main.css, and it creates it right there. Now if I want to create a new folder, uh, we'll do it subfolder1, something like that. It quickly creates a folder for me. Uh, it just gives me a whole bunch more options here. Um, you can do a mass rename, so on and so forth. Uh, you know, a whole bunch of more options in the sidebar here. Okay, so that was the last one I wanted to talk about. Now you're set up to pretty much work on some nice you know, websites, redo the HTML and CSS, 
uh, it's nothing complicated. I'm not going into some crazy packages with Node and linting and all that. This is pretty much all you need to work on simple sites. And actually, to be quite honest, Sublime right out of the box could be good for working on simple sites. This just makes it a little bit nicer. Hopefully you found this video interesting. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.